Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another quick video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and in today this video is all about the recently released Inabuilds Airbus A310. Now I think it's fair to say that since its release in the 40th anniversary special update for Microsoft Flight Simulator, it has quickly found its way into the hearts of many players and many people are now really getting into flying the Airbus A310. It's kind of a combination of the Airbus A320 but a much more scaled down version in terms of the avionics, meaning that perhaps for those hardcore simmers that want to fly so-called real aircraft and not just sit and program computers, the Airbus A310 is the perfect aircraft because it has just a little bit of everything with traditional piloting involved. Now the Innerbuilds team are already working on an update for the A310, in fact it's available if you are a beta tester for Microsoft Flight Simulator already and lots of people are also reporting that when using this it's really helping the overall performance of the aircraft. Users are reporting things like the sounds, the EFB and instability issues have all been fixed in this update but of course if you're not using the beta version like myself then we're just going to have to wait until it's released officially by Azobo. Until then though, there are still lots of things we can do to help make our flying of the Airbus A310 even more enjoyable. One of the things I absolutely love doing is after we've had a nice flight and a landing at our destination is going back using the replay mod and checking out wing views and things like that. Now the wing views for the A310 are not the easiest in the world to set up so I've gone ahead and spent a bit of time creating them and now you can download those from our Discord server if you're on there. There is a link in the video description so you can go and uh, get yourself on our Discord server if you're not already and download those from the pilot's briefing room. The custom views I've created contain nine different views and give you views all around the aircraft. These are selected by using the ALT key plus a number one to zero. So numbers one, two to three are on the right hand side of the aircraft. Numbers four to six give you a view on the left hand side as a passenger. And then numbers seven and eight, we've got some external views as well. And they're just coming up so you can see there in the video. That's uh, view number seven and a quick flip to the other side of view number eight. The final view, view number nine, is set to the front of the flight deck. I love this particular view as I think particularly when you're flying high above the clouds looking down it's a great viewpoint for, uh, for you to have a look so hopefully you can enjoy those once you've downloaded them. Once you've gone and downloaded them just very important way you install them if you find your community folder and then just go back a couple of levels to the local cache into the sim objects airplanes and then what you need to find is the Microsoft A310 which is just here once we've done that there is the cameras file and that is where the file you've downloaded needs to go please note you may not have the Microsoft A310 folder as shown just here if you haven't already got custom views set up. The easiest way to ensure you get this folder is you can of course either create a folder and name it exactly the same as you see here on the screen or if you prefer once you are loaded into the A310 in the simulator simply press Control alt and then numbers one two or three to create a custom view and then automatically this file is created in this folder for you and of course then you can just replace it with the uh, with the camera file you've just downloaded for those of you who use GSX as well, I've gone and created a custom GSX profile for the Airbus A310 and that basically means that everything just lines up correctly and the doors that aren't available have been disabled so hopefully GSX will provide good visuals for you when, uh, when using it. Again, this GSX config file can be found on our Discord server in the pilot's briefing room which you can access via the link in the video description. Once you've downloaded the GSX profile, this is a little more cumbersome to try and install, but you'll need to go to your local drive, find the user's drive, then select yourself. Then once you've done that, ensure that hidden folders are visible to you because you'll need to find your app data file. From there, it's roaming further down virtually and then 
the airplanes folder. In here, now I have the Microsoft A310 underscore 300. Again, if you've not already created a custom profile, which if you're downloading this, the chances are you haven't, you're either going to have to manually create a folder and name it exactly the same as you see here on screen, or you can, of course, just create a very quick one by using the uh, GSX editor, or just simply create one here, and then this is where the GSX config file goes that you've downloaded from our Discord server. Finally then, those of you who use FSI panel to practice your landings and approaches in various weather conditions, etc., you'll be pleased to know that FSI panel is now compatible with the A310. This is a free update as well for users. Simply launch FSI panel and it'll tell you that an update is available. Go ahead, download that and it's all done and installed for you automatically. Means of course that you can set up your flights just the same as you would do any other aircraft. The great thing about this though, however, is setting it up is literally just one touch. You don't need to set the altitude or the heading or the speed like you do in the Phoenix because the A310 Inables is of course a now default aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So FSI Panel can access all this information for you, set it all up, and within 60 seconds, you're ready to start practicing an approach. I'd love to hear your comments on how you're getting on with the A310 since it's released, what you think of the aircraft, and if you're enjoying this perhaps more than any other. I've certainly had a great time learning the new systems on this aircraft, as you've seen in some of our live streams. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful, and of course, the files that we've talked about. Let me know if you have any issues with those. And if you have enjoyed the video, then please do hit that like button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any more future content or of course live streams thank you so much i'll see you all again very soon bye bye for now